think this is going to be a very interesting presentation, uh, kind of paralleling Mario's, but in this case, uh, looking at 3D vision and at the sort of journey that Van Gogh has taken from PC implementation to embedded CPU implementation to uh, CPU plus FPGA implementation. Ken? All right. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, there were no animals that died <laughs> during our development. So <laughs> I don't want any PETA after me. So uh, I just, before I get started, my son came home. He's like 15 years old uh, a couple of days ago. And he was so excited. He was like, yeah, you know, it's great. And I was like, wow, you know, it's like I sleep through the first two classes every day. Why is he so excited? coming from school. Well, he uh, just joined a uh, robotics club, and uh, he wrote like a few lines of code to move the robotics arm left, move it right. And he was so excited. It's like, wow, that's great. And I was like, you know, I mean, the reason I bring that up is I, I've been in engineering for, you know, I mean, I, first time I wrote the code was around his age. And that was like a long time ago, 35 years ago. and. I remember how excited I was at that time, and and now you know we we you know we, we do a lot of stuff, especially with embedded embedded vision or vision processing. I mean, this is so much fun, but sometimes I don't even appreciate it as much as I should. So my son kind of reminded me, like, yeah, you, you gotta really appreciate all these things that you're doing. So just wanna throw throw that out there. Um, I tell you this, uh, I feel very fortunate uh, to be in this uh, vision processing market. It's a combination of all the discipline. It's hardware, it's software, it's algorithmic, it's math. I mean, it's just so everything combined is coming together to do some amazing things. Um, I got into it because I was in medical imaging um, company I founded uh, previous to this one. Uh, and uh, the, the entire industry, in a very short time I was in the, in the industry, shifted from like 2D imaging to 3D imaging in a period of less than three years. I mean, doctors just love just moving from, you know, just looking at these 3D images and showing to their patients and so on. So, so when I started this uh, Van Gogh imaging, I said, okay, that's it. You know, okay, we're going to focus on this 3D technology that everyone's going to use, everyone's going to want this. And uh, uh, it, it took a little longer to get going because uh, in the beginning, it's hard to get these high, uh, you know, high volume applications using two, three thousand dollar scanners, which was what they were available back then. But what happened last two, three years is amazing in that there are so many good low cost 3D uh, sensors, starting with Connect, and now you got Leap Motion, you got probably about 10 other companies that, are, that have or are in the process of developing these 3D sensors and prices are coming down dramatically. So I, I think we're at a really exciting stage to truly take advantage uh, of this capability, which I, I think is, is, is similar but different from 2D because it's, it's not just about texture or the pixels. It's really about shapes and objects and features and so on. So.